right, so let's take a walk in the Brian Rupert's man cave. <laughs> oh, yeah, I tell you what, we got some stuff in here. We got a repelling rope hanging from the ceiling. I'm going to put a trap door on that floor so I can repel all the way to the basement. Uh, we got pipeline markers, electric meters. We got a freaking power line in here, gaffs. All the books you'd ever need. I mean, uh, signs, you know, stop on tracks, you know, drive on tracks. We got insulator. We got a trainer on this thing. I'm going to hit a tunnel on the wall that comes out up there. Yeah, that's the whole way around. We got a dartboard. We got lots of something about with this. Flammable 3. We got radioactive. Flammable 2. I'll make Hank Hill hoppy. We got corrosive. Back to autism. Dangerous. Non flammable gas. Poison. That's the last one. Back to autism. Danger high voltage. Danger 600 volts. We got plastic chairs, step two TV rocker. Look at this locomotive thing here, like it's the railway museum. Pump action, uh, railway vehicle, plastic chairs. Uh, no idling diesel power vehicles over five tons. Start board. We got our fractions of an inch. Oh, uh, there's a tire press, more dart boards. Yeah, we got pretty much everything in here. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. Growflex Miami Lowback Chair, Suncast Chair, Growflex Sun Chair, Capizo Lowback, Growflex Malaga. Uh, I'm not sure what that chair is, it's unmarked. We got this Rubbermaid Chair, my Loner Fan Box. White, green, gray, uh, raspberry, strawberry, and chocolate. We got that useless Laser Kid Chair. This chair made by Leach, because it has a tubular leg design. US Leisure Chairs, Grammy Promotional, Sided High Back, Arched, I mean, we got the, you look at those in other videos. We got this American Plastic Toy Company chair, it's nice and bright. Add some color to the room, and just ignore that door port, and let's train stuff here. And we just like got a collection of stuff here. There's my airplane sitting up in the corner. Trains, LED lights are on the ceiling. So what, Deluxe Fan Back, Tropical Deluxe, Rio Deluxe. Deluxe chair, Rubbermaid Marvel series, Pro Garden Mobile chairs. Let's come over here to the chair I always use, Greco High chair. The only chair I can sit in my back don't hurt. I spend most of my time in the chair. I got my dinner sitting here to eat. Well, we got rice, chicken patties, beans, potatoes, milk, water. I try to stay away from soda. I tell you what, caffeine just makes me more tired. I tell you, carbohydrates, gallons of water, overhydrate. Daytona International Speedway. Look, we got a street light in here. I have a street light in here with a power line. 122.40 triplex. Tracker on the ceiling. An F1 a day keeps the stress away. 100 tons. Oh, we got a shelf that's actually a saw blade. Hey, a shelf that's actually a double buck saw blade. There's one of my YouTube channels. YouTube sign. That's a mask I wear on the community. Steel suspenders, reflective vests. That's my steam clothes. Let's see, Westman Power, Duquesne Light. Uh, water pipeline. Stuff I made, RF to DC converters, which my antenna is going to be up in the attic. A couple miles long. Road spike, electro magnet. I mean, look at that. Everything. Mini Tesla coil, Faraday flashlight. I mean, oh, I'll tell you what. When you ask if I ever leave this room, <laughs> I might not. Alternator, radio, transformer, stop start push button relays, braid gas line, my airplane gun I made, Jacob's ladder, Tesla coil, red light actually functions, what was that 10,000, 10, 10 volt, 100,000 microfarad capacitors, keep LEDs lit for 48 hours, fire alarm, now we got nothing to ask our sheet metal, Chris Busher, it's got that one, was that Talladega or Pocono, I can't remember how, what, what it was, gas meter, <laughs> Mine. Cool on the magnet to play with. 100 year old power line fuse. Voltage multiplier. Oh, my Western Electric can crank magneto. Makes 150 volts, makes those light bulbs glow. I got my stroller here that I just sit back and relax and I want to put my head back. I got a couple of car seats in here, just for example, of technology. I'm making everything more like safety there. I mean, you, you see what's going on here. I got this climbing gear too. Rope bags. I'll tell you what, I'm a rope rescue ace. Caterpillar gloves, 
It just goes right up in the attic around the, the four drawers in the attic. Figure eight. I mean, you got everything. I don't think I have any black diamond stuff, so I like Petzl and, yeah. Buckingham. Repelling rope. Tree climbing rope. Yeah, I was a rope rescue ace back in the day, a rock climber. We have pretty much everything harness. Yeah, we like to do repelling. Uh, like I said, I'm gonna put an escape hatch to the floor, to the basement, so I can repel down there. Get up out of bed and just repel down the basement. Where I can do my projects. Oh, we got this 25,000 volt bike generator. Lumber, starter coil in there. Spins it, makes about 25,000 volts. I got a water meter down there. I tell you, we got everything. Motor, 240,000 volt, 450. 450 volt, 240,000 microfarad capacitor bank. High voltage gloves, Mickey Mouse bow. 40,000 volt capacitor back there. There's the airplane I was talking about. 15,000 volt neon sign transformer. Street light with a nice hornet's nest inside of it. See that? Engine, bass guitar. Well, I'll tell you what. I, I, I mean, I could go on forever. <laughs> Original patent insulator, high voltage gloves, gaffs, I mean, yeah, steel mill. Oh, we got a Johnny ball, small insulator. Oh, and I forgot one thing here. We got the LED lights. I forgot these LED lights. Yeah, I got those LED lights. I tell you what, <laughs> I don't know if I could explain anything else in here. You see I'm very knowledgeable. That's my Sam Fox 1994 and 500, first race I ever went to. My car came to stop in front of me when I was like 10 years old. My Brian. Aunt got this for me for my first Holy Communion. Yeah, I was involved in St. United's Church for most of my childhood. Darts. Classic rope and gloves. <laughs> yeah, never mind uh, electric fence bed here. Yeah, look at that. What a way to sleep. He sleeps in an electric fence. There is my boots and shoes. Oh, I tell you what, it does not stop. We got all kind of stuff here. I tell you what, I got farming, utility, railroading, everything in my blood. So like my grandfather actually turned on ownership of people's gas. Oh, uh, my... Uncle Eli was a uh, yard master at CP Wing for about 30 years for Pennsylvania Road and the start of Penn Central. I can mean, go on and on. I mean, we do everything. I mean, well, you gotta see it in its full glory. There you go. Hey, turn the street light off, too. Well, I'll tell you, what, look at that. There, there's your atmosphere there. I mean, it couldn't get any better than that. I mean, that is beautiful. I tell you, I'm a flea marketer, utility worker. We get maybe 20 minutes of sleep a night. Go out there in all weather. No weekends, uh, no holidays. We just go, 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 go. Some people call us crazy, but that's... All we know how to do is work, 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 and we just don't quit. I mean, that's the way I was raised. Couldn't be any different. I mean... Pretty much the only thing I don't have is a girlfriend, which with autism is impossible. I don't have that state of mind. I tell you what, I wouldn't even try that. I tell you, what, most people think they need to live like their parents do, but they do not have the state of mind or commitment for any marriage or anything. So, pretty much it turns into a disaster for them and they end up fighting. I mean, so many people just don't have the state of mind to live like that. And nah, I'm one of them. I mean, we're single. I tell you what, I don't care what religion you are, if you're single, straight, or whatever. I mean, that, that really, does not really matter to people with autism like me. I mean, we're different. Uh, we live alone. Our projects are pretty much our life. I mean, we have, like, no other... <laughs> no social skills. We don't go to parties. We just go, go, go. I mean, we don't go on vacations. I mean, all we know is just to do our stuff. Watch trains and it's a different way of life. I mean, me personally, I will never have a family. I will never get a girlfriend. There's no way I ever could. I mean, I don't have the state of mind for any commitment like that. And I tell you what, some of you people think you should live like that, but I wouldn't try it. I would say just forget about being single and just do live your life. I mean, marriage is kind of like a scam in this day and age. I mean, it really is. People think they need to live like that, but. 
I'll tell you for a fact, some of you do not have the state of mind to live like that. And if you try, it's just going to end in disaster and fighting. And you can look around you. Pretty much every marriage has failed. And I tell you what, I will, I will tell you for a fact, the only marriages I know of that ever lasted were between two people who lived in the same neighborhood. Even like 10 miles on the street is too far. I mean, your minds are different. I mean, I think you see where I'm getting at. So, I'll tell you what. I'm going to sit down and eat before my dinner gets cold.